The Daily, News Corporation's new iPad-only publication, launched this week and is currently offered as a free download for US users, which will soon change to a 99 cent per week subscription. My first impression is that The Daily ties together different features of various iPad magazines into a better designed, cohesive bundle. The interactivity that iPad users have come to expect is here, with animated ads, interactive graphics, and embedded video that we've seen before from the likes of Wired, Sports and Style, and Richard Branson's unwieldy Project magazine. Fortunately, there are just enough bells and whistles to add a bit of spark to the publication, but not so much that reading becomes difficult, as was the case with the Project app. In Egypt, the revolution is making history by the hour. The Egyptian people have forced their ruler Hosni Mubarak to... There are also social media features such as embedded Twitter feeds and a creative approach to commenting. Readers can either leave a written comment or record a short audio comment. I can't believe this family had a hundred suitcases. Articles are shareable via the usual channels and linked to an online version that is free to read when shared. The design and layout are more magazine than newspaper, which is becoming the norm for the iPad, with large images and graphics featured throughout. Content-wise, the daily debuts with a cover feature on the embattled Egyptian president and the protests in Egypt, a news feature on the US snowstorm, and besides news includes opinion, gossip, arts and life, sports, and apps and games sections. The game section includes Sudoku and crossword puzzles that have good enhancements for the iPad, each game can be timed, allowing you to track personal bests and also compare scores on a leaderboard with your friends. Overall, in my opinion, the Daily is probably the best approach thus far to a news publication on the iPad. There are, however, a few bugs in the app. It crashed at least once when I was reviewing it, and some of the user interface controls experienced a fair bit of lag.